Hi everyone, my name is Julie and this is Julie Reads Her Bookshelf, an ongoing project of mine uh, which I hope to start through this channel and I thought I'd use my first video to talk a little bit about what I hope to do with this channel and why it is that I'm doing it. Um, for every reader there is um, one type of hobby which is reading and the joy of reading and there's another completely distinct independent hobby which is the joy and the hobby of book buying. And perfect equilibrium is achieved when your rate of reading matches your rate of book buying. Unfortunately for me, my rate of book buying far exceeds my rate of reading. And that's caused uh, my bookshelf to be overflowing with books that I haven't read. And uh, I recently did a count of all the books I haven't read on my bookshelf. And unfortunately I've accumulated uh, 90 books exact that I haven't read and how many books uh, are read on your bookshelf is considered excessive for each person that's that's different for me 90 books is far point past the point of excessive and I um, to the point where it's causing me a little bit of anxiety and stress and so um, the point of this channel I hope is that I can um, read through uh, these 90 books and reduce it down to zero that's right, zero. Um, and so this will be a, a either a wildly successful project of reading through my unread bookshelf or a miserably uh, unsuccessful one. Um, I've set myself a number of rules. The rules are that first, there will be no buying books except as permitted until the end of this project. Uh, and what is permitted is that I can buy one book for uh, every 20 books that I get through. Uh, that means that I'm always keeping well ahead of the count and hopefully um, still able to get down to zero within my uh, time frame that I set myself. The second rule is that at the end of this project, if I do get to zero, um, I will um, have to come up with a special reward for myself. Now, I haven't thought about what it is exactly yet. Uh, there's a couple of possibilities, but um, but that's something that I want to work towards. When I uh, reach a total number of zero books unread on my bookshelf. The third uh, rule is that there will be some exceptions to uh, the ban on book buying while this project is ongoing. So um, the exceptions are foreign language books. So when I say 90 books, um, uh, th those are 90 English language books. I'm very lucky in that I can also read in Chinese and I can read, although um, far less proficiently, in French. And I have uh, two books that I know of that are unread uh, in Chinese and two French books that are also unread. But because I don't seem to have um, an excess of books uh, unread in those two languages, uh, I'm not including them in my non-book buying categories, unless of course they get out of hand while, I, while this is ongoing. Um, the other exceptions are coffee table books, cookbooks and art books. So I do have a number of those sitting around and, and I use them for reference purposes. They're not books that are intended to be read from start to finish. And so because of that, I am also excluding them from the book buying ban. And the final rule, uh, which is a simple one, is that anthologies count as read if I read one book in the anthology. So I do have a couple of books behind me. Uh, for example, I have most of Ian Forster's books in, uh, in the one anthology. And so I'm not gonna force myself to read the entire um, collection of Ian Forster's books just because they are collected in one volume. If, um, if they are an, an anthology and they're intended to be as an anthology, then, uh, then reading one of the books within it counts as reading or ticks off the book from the unread pile. Of course, I do intend to go back to all of those at some future date and finish off the other books in the anthology. So those are the basic rules. I get through 30 books a year normally. Um, it's not an excessive number for, certainly for Booktube, um, but it's a lot for me. I work full time as a, as a litigator, as a lawyer, and when I am busy in court, in, uh, in the middle of trial, um, 
uh, eating and sleeping is a problem. <laughs> so, uh, so reading really goes on the back burner when I'm busy at work. So 30 books is usually about how many I can get through. So 90 books at that rate would take me about three years. So in, um, in this time, three, in three years, I hope that uh, I'll be sitting here uh, counting down to zero, not only on another year, but also um, on, a, um, on, on a number of unread books on my bookshelf. So thank you for watching. And, and if you like this concept, if you uh, wanna follow my journey through from 90 to zero, um, feel free to follow my channel and I hope to um, speak to some of you in the future. Hi again, I've just had to sign off for a bit of an addendum to my original video. Excuse me while I work out how to plan these better. But there's a few additional um, rules or, or uh, parameters that I would like to add. Um, the first one is that I would still like to buy books when I travel. And that's one of the great pleasures that I take when I travel, which is to go to the local bookshops. Um, to check out some local authors. I was in um, Paris uh, a month ago and I went to Shakespeare and Company again and it was truly one of the highlights of my trip. So I would still like to keep that joy in my life and so um, I will buy books when I travel and um, when, those, when I do buy books when I travel, those books are added to the overall unread tally. So I'll try, try to be restrained with that. Um, the second parameter I would like to add is that I, I will unhaul books if required. Now, when I did the count of the 90 books, um, that uh, I, I did it with a little bit of light editing, which is to say that any books that I um, have DNF'd in the past uh, or I don't think I will ever want to read, um, I have already gotten rid of them. So I think the 90 books are the books that I want to read and which are unread but I still, um, I think in the process of reading, some of the more on the fence books among those 90 might end up being in DNFs. And um, it might be that uh, not only do I not want to finish them, uh, but I actually never want to go back to them. So we'll see about that. I, I think I will want to read all of the 90, but um, there might be some unholing in that process as well. Um, then, and the last bit I wanted to add is the issue of format. So when I say 90 books, I have 90 unread physical books. Um, I do read e-books and I read library books and, and I tend not to have too many issues with unread e-books um, because I tend to buy them and then read them straight away on my Kindle. So um, we will see how we go with, the, um, with uh, reading the 90 physical books. And what I plan to do is to use e-books and library books to sort of introduce a little bit more variety because this is going to be quite a long-term project. And throughout that project, I might get bored of everything on my bookshelf. So I'm gonna use that to try and motivate myself to read um, with more variety um, without giving up on all of the unread books that I intend to read for the next three years. Um, the final format I wanted to mention is the format of audiobooks. I don't have a habit of listening to audiobooks. I do that sometimes, but I do that mostly with foreign language books. So when I read um, novels or uh, nonfiction books in Chinese or in French, I tend to like to listen to it as well because my proficiency in those languages are not as strong. Um, certainly in French is not as strong as um, my proficiency in English. So I like having multiple modes going at the same time where I'm listening and reading. Um, but I don't tend to do that with English language books because I find audiobooks just too slow for the pace that I'm reading. Uh, and I much prefer just to read the book. So um, audiobooks for the purposes of this exercise won't be as relevant, uh, but I will certainly um, be listening to some audiobooks as I read through my foreign language bookshelf, which is very small. Um, so that's all I've had to add. Hopefully I won't be coming up with any more um, parameters or rules for, for this channel, um, but uh, thank you for sticking with me.